Uh, the Himalayan quail, whose scientific name is Orf. Thank you for coming to check us out here today at New York Eternics. My name is Kenny, as most of you already know, and for those of you who don't, welcome to the channel. This is New York Eternics, your source for everything quail and game bird related. If this is your first time visiting the channel, or if you haven't already done so, please be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you're notified in real time whenever we do leave new content on the channel. Before we begin, I'd like to let you all know that we are running a contest for 30 free Caternix hatching eggs, and that's courtesy of White's Family Farmhouse, located in Maine, New York. Not to be confused with Maine the state, but Maine, which is a small town located right here in the state of New York. For details on how to participate in the contest, stay tuned until the end of the video, and I'll tell you exactly what you need to do. In our last video, we started discussing Old World Quail, and we got all the way through the genus Caternix. Today, we're going to be going over the rest of the Old World Quail, which would include the genus Predicula and one other. If you haven't seen the first video, you can do so by clicking on the card above, and of course, the link is also included in the description below. Old World Quail is a collective name for several genre of mid-sized birds in the pheasant family Phasianidae. This is a direct quote from Wikipedia. As mentioned in the last video, the collective noun for a group of quail is a flock, bevy, or even a covey. We'll get started today with the jungle bush quail, whose scientific name is Predicula asiatica. This quail can be found on the Indian subcontinent. Its range goes across Nepal, Bangladesh, Pakistan, and Sri Lanka. The male has what appears to be a white mustache, has variegated wings, and is heavily decorated on the underside with bars. The female has a pretty uniform chestnut colored underside, but both the male and female have red and white streaks on their head. This is an average size quail, measuring in at about 16 to 18 centimeters in length. The jungle bush quail also weighs in at about an average of 57 to 81 grams. Its diet consists of seeds, grasses, and insects. The breeding season starts with the rain and ends with the cold. The female will usually lay a clutch of about five to six eggs and they'll hatch after about 16 to 18 days. Even since the population has declined since the 1950s in Sri Lanka, it is common and widespread enough in other areas that the IUCN does not consider it to be a threatened species. As of right now, it is listed as least concern. Next, we'll talk about the rock bush quail. The rock bush quail scientific name is Perdicula argunda which is fun to say, so I'll say it again. Predicula Argunda. If you're looking, you can find this quail in the peninsular region of India. The rock bush quail is very similar to the jungle bush quail, which we just went over. Now these two overlap in range, so it's not uncommon to mistake one for the other in certain areas. These quail weigh in at an average of 64 to 85 grams and are usually around 17 to 18 centimeters in length. Predicula Argunda. The coloring of the rock bush quail is brownish and has areas with darker colors around its body. It's native to the western area of India and thought to be non-migratory. There are three recognized subspecies of the rock bush quail and they are usually found in more arid areas and are rarely at elevations of more than 600 meters. This bird has a large range and is not considered endangered by the IUCN, like a lot of other quail, is considered least concern. Then we have the painted bush quail. The scientific name for the painted bush quail is Predicula irrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
that are great at communicating to reconvene and there are two recognized subspecies. The males of the painted bush quail species are thought to be monogamous. Trappers have also been known to use decoys of the males in order to capture others. The breeding season lasts from December to March and the painted bush quail is known to sometimes line the scrapes with grass and lay four to seven eggs to a clutch so they actually make a nest. The female will sit on the eggs for 16 to 18 days and will protect their young after hatching by attacking almost any kind of animal or human that comes near. The chicks are able to fly at a very early age. The painted bush quail is listed by the IUCN as least concern. No worries of extinction at all. The last quail that we have on our list in the genus Perdicula is the Manipur bush quail. The scientific name for this quail is Perdicula manipurensis. This quail is found in northeast India and Bangladesh. They love damp areas and grasslands, especially tall grass. Between the year 1932 and 2006, this quail was not observed anywhere until Anwar Chaudhry observed the quail during a routine bird survey in Assam, which is in northeastern India. The IUCN has the Manipur bush quail listed as endangered. So it looks like all of the quail in the genus Perdicula are labeled as bush, bush quail. Uh, we do have one more quail on our plate, not literally in this sense. Uh, so last but definitely not least, except in population, is the Himalayan quail. The Himalayan quail, whose scientific name is Orphysia superciliosa, is also known as the mountain quail. It belongs to the pheasant family like all of the other old world quail. The last time this species was reported seen was back in 1876, and this was near the hill station of Missouri. Not Missouri the state in the United States, but Missouri the state, which is in India. We've had to rely on specimens, 12 of them to be exact, in order to learn what we do know about the Himalayan quail, which was known to come from only two locations, one being in the western Himalayas in Uttarakhand, which is in northwest India, I hope I pronounced that right, and as I just mentioned a few minutes ago, Missouri. The Himalayan quail has a red bill and legs and small white spots right before and after the eye. The male is dark gray with a white forehead. The female is brownish with dark streaks in a gray brow area. She also has one spot before and after the eye. They aren't believed to fly unless in danger and will travel in small coveys of four to six. It was first found in the wild in 1865 by Kenneth McKinnon, who I happen to share initials with. He shot a pair in November of that year at about 1,800 meters elevation. The Himalayan quail was spotted two years later when five specimens were obtained in the wild near Jarapani. A few more specimens were collected in a few years after that as well. It was suggested that it is a migratory bird with a winter arrival, but that in itself isn't a certainty due to the observance of its short wings suggesting that it isn't able to fly long distances. All records of the Himalayan quail are recorded between the altitude range of 1600 to 2400 meters. They've been seen in patches of tall grass and on steep hillsides. Uh, this is also taken directly from Wikipedia. The Himalayan quail has not been reliably recorded in the wild after 1876. The locations where they were historically found have been greatly altered by human activity and the current habitats in these locations may not represent the normal habitat requirements. A 2015 study examined the rate of extinction and suggested that the species may still be extant and using the habitat preference of Mono suggested there might be some locations around Missouri where intensive surveys could be attempted. By the year 1904 the Himalayan quail was considered a rarity. It is listed by the IUCN as critically endangered. Bet you haven't seen one. So that wraps up our two-part video on Old World Quail. Again, if you haven't seen the first video, you can check it out by clicking on the card above or visiting the link below in the description. Hopefully in the future, we may be able to actually get to visit some of these birds on the channel, uh, but we'll turn that stone over when we get to it. If you're still watching this video, that's great. I promised I'd let you know how to participate in the contest for 30 free hatching eggs from White's Family Farmhouse, which is located in Maine, New York. Not to be confused with Maine, the state, but Maine, the town right here in New York State. Now, in order to participate in this contest, leave a like for the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, then head over to Facebook, join the group, and leave a comment on the official contest thread. 
you'll be entered for a chance to win 30 free Caternix quail hatching eggs. Good luck. Thank you once again for coming to check us out here today at New York Caternix. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave those below. Also, please leave a like for the video and subscribe to the channel for more. Hit that notification bell so you're notified right away when there are new videos released on the channel. We here at New York Caternix really appreciate the support so far and look forward to hearing from you when the next video releases. See you soon.